Okay, so now that we've created the back end, so I'll just close everything off there. We now need to make a connection and fetch the data from the database. So I'm going to use a package for this, which is going to be Axios. So on the front end, I'm just going to install npm i Axios. And whilst that's installing in my source folder on the front end, I'm going to create a file and I'm going to name this axios.js. So essentially we need to create an instance for Axios. Um, the benefits of Axios is that it converts all the data into JSON itself and it manages the headers and there's many more benefits that you can read up on the npm docs for this. So in my Axios JS file, I'm going to import. So we're back to the ES6 way of importing because we are on the front end. It's going to be import Axios from the package Axios like so. And I'm going to create an instance. So const instance, which is equal to axios.create. And we're going to create an object of a base URL. So this is the URL that we are going to be fetching the data from. So this will be localhost slash 8000. The reason for this is because when we were defining the port on the back end, so in server JS, we have a port of 8000 or the port in the env file. So that is the reason we're going to create the string of HTTP of localhost 8000. And I'm just going to now is we need to create an object. So we need parentheses around here. So HTTP localhost 8000. And then all we need to do is export default of the instance. Like so now if I save, I now have the access to the base URL which will be the local or slash 8000. So if I close this off now and at the top level, so in the to do component, I'm now going to create a function and I'm going to fetch all the data from the DB. So this function is going to be called fetch data and this is going to be an async function. So async function an arrow function. And within here, I'm going to have a try catch block once again. And in here we have the error and console.log the error dot message. So it's just a, I prefer the try catch way because in the catch block, you can handle errors that way. And then everything else is in the try block. So I'm going to create a response. So const response is equal to await and then axios dot get. And this is going to be slash to do's. So we're going to get everything from the slash to do's endpoint. And I also need to create some state for the to do's. So const to do's and set to do's, which is equal to use state of an empty array. So essentially what we want to do is get all of the to do's in an array format. So then what we can do is in the to do list, we can map everything out onto the page using ES6 map method. So now we have the to do set and now also need to import Axios from the Axios JS file that I created because it has the base URL instance in there. So if I just import Axios from this is important because you don't want to import it from the package Axios as we've already imported that in our Axios JS file. So up a level and then up another level into Axios. So now we have access to axios.get here and we want to get all of the to do's. So that will be localhost 8000 slash to do's like so. As you can see, we have to do's in there. So there's an array in there and there's a response. So all I want to do now is the to do's that we have created as the state. I'm just going to copy this and set the to do's as response dot data like so. And now if I save, I now have the fetch data working correctly. So all I now need to do is run the function. So we want to run the function on the first render of the page. So if I inspect and go into my console and just refresh the page. Instead of console logging the input now, I'm just going to copy this and we want to console log the to do's. So there is a further step we need to do to run this function. So if I save, we now have two empty to do's, which is 
essentially the initial state here so an empty array now what we want to do is get a use effect hook and within this use effect it has a callback function and in here we want to fetch the data like so and if i save what will happen is it will fetch the data but we want to fetch it on the first render so if you pass in an empty dependency array like so it will only fetch when we refresh the page so so on the first mount like so and if we save and refresh we have the to do's now set up if i go into my networks hub and now you can see we have fetched the to-dos. So on the to-dos, we, we are passing a request method of get, which is equal to a 200 status. Same here again. And the response is an empty array. This is because we don't have anything in the database yet. So what we need to do is we need to add some to-dos to the database. And now we need to create a new function called add to-do, which is equal to async, like so. <coughs> And in here, we're just going to, for now, console log added to do. Okay. 